Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rod here with Hodler Flood Crypto, your new destination for all things cryptocurrency. First things first, if you're new to the channel, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, and like the video below. Let's dive into this one, guys. We've got a lot of people asking about Cardano, what it is and where it's going. So Cardano is a decentralized blockchain system powered by the ADA coin. It's a cryptocurrency that runs on the Cardano platform. Much like Ethereum, a smart contract based system, and it is used to run decentralized apps or dApps. But Cardano is a layered system. It has one layer that runs the ADA exchange and a separate one which runs its smart contracts. ADA claims to be the first cryptocurrency which runs on scientific peer-to-peer -peer reviewed uh, data or programming, sorry, uh, which ensures its safety. So that's really neat on what Cardano offers. Charles Haskin has done a lot to get this off and going. As we know, Charles was involved with Ethereum um, and then found from the shortfalls from Ethereum and what he could improve on and what he thought would make a far superior uh, exchange. So he has now gone out on his own with Cardano and this is where things are heading for them. So a lot of people are saying some things that uh, Cardano has for downturns, which is the biggest one, the one that always gets brought up, is how slow it is for it to be released and get out into the market. This is something that's been in development stages uh, since 2017. So yeah, absolutely. It is um, a little bit slower to get out onto the platforms, but the advantage for me that Cardano presents itself is that it's not going to have a bunch of Band-Aid solutions holding it together. And what does Band-Aid solutions and technology mean long term? It means that once these Band-Aids start to break down or they start to layer up, you're going to have a reduction in speed for transactions on the network. So that's something interesting that we have to watch with Cardano. Um, so the three things that Cardano thinks that they're um, fixing in the Ethereum network um, for shortcomings would be interoperability. So that's how do other coins and ADA now communicate or transfer back and forth on the blockchains. Another thing would be the scalability, uh, sorry, the scalability. So the transaction speeds, the network bandwidth, the data storage, how these things are stored. Instead of having everything going over in the, um, in, the, uh, in the transactions, what data actually needs to go. ADA has separated that data out to increase the speed of transactions. And then sustainability. A big thing that they're trying to do is make it cheaper for these uh, platforms to run. So there's the three things right there that Cardano seems to be on track to fix. Uh, on the next hard fork that comes out, the I believe this is a smart contract one that was supposed to come out March 31st. Uh, so we'll have to maintain uh, a little bit of a, a wait and see to see if it actually goes ahead uh, and then see where we go from there. So as we look at the charts here, uh, right now as of this video, uh, ADA or Cardano is trading at $1.20. So $1.20 has kind of been that peak line or uh, bottom line of support. Um, it never really seems to get below that too terribly much right now. We've had some stuff down to $1.10 on the four hour charts. But um, the one thing that we really want to start to see is that we can start stacking this $1.20 support that Cardano has uh, started to accumulate again. The uh, high over the last uh, 10 days would have Cardano up to about $1.38 and we would like to see Cardano get back to that. So if we can go with the trend, we should, as long as we can keep momentum going the way it's going, uh, we can start working back up towards. So what I'm looking for in the coming days, hopefully by this Saturday, would be $1.30 Cardano. And that $1.30 Cardano will really dictate how the month of April is going to look for Cardano. 
I would really like to see we hit that $1.30 by Friday, Saturday at the latest. And from there, it'll be smooth sailing. We can this we can watch this thing take off upwards of $2.50 in the next two weeks. We've got to wait and see. These things are all speculative, but these are my thoughts and opinions on what Cardano can do in the month of April. I really like this product. Or, well, it's a product and project, and I like where it's going. I'm not really concerned about the delays because I'd rather it be perfected coming out then have to start doing all these band-aid fixes. But I'm not certain that Cardano actually is the Ethereum killer that people are making it out to be. Yes, it may have some superior factors, but let's get one thing straight. Products that are going away from Ethereum right now are only doing it while there is a downturn right now, while we're waiting for Ethereum 2.0 to get these gas fees down. If you look at news today, today alone, Visa came out and said they are willing to look past the shortcomings of Ethereum and are now looking to use cryptocurrencies on the Ethereum network to settle fiat debts on the Visa network. So that means we now have an avenue to spend our crypto to pay off things on our Visa bills, so that's going to be a great way for us to start getting money out of the market. So look for news stories like this to keep carrying on. I think Cardano has absolutely blue skies ahead for itself. Lots of green candles in this thing. Guys, stick with it. I don't know if I see the $10 Cardano that everybody's talking about, especially this year. However, $750 is not out of the picture. We need this thing to start pumping up. Uh, we also need to also need to see the support to start stacking up here across the 120 and start moving towards the 130 line early this week. We can get there. This thing's going to absolutely go, and I am fully confident that we will see a 250 somewhere in April. Let's get it, guys. That's all I got. We'll see you tonight. We'll hop on for a live feed around 8:30 again. We'll talk to you guys then.